In this video, I am going to explain our ALP program to find the largest number in an array of 32 bit numbers. So, this is the code. So, you know how to create a, a new file. So, if you are in your project, if any old file is there, you can just uh, select and remove it. Uh, if you want to add new file to your project, click add new item to the source group. So, since we are adding assembly language program, so select uh, assembly. So, you can write a largest number I am finding. So, you can write largest 32 bit uh, uh, dot s. So, here you have to type the program. Okay. So, I already have program. So, you can give the title as okay, ALP to find the largest number of 32 bit numbers and area. The name of the area is largest. You can give any label here. And it's a code memory and it is read only memory. And next line is export. Okay, export is a keyword. It should come in blue color. Space underscore underscore main. Two times underscore shift minus button. Okay. Space underscore underscore main. Then uh, this is a label. So for labels and variable declaration, no space in the beginning of each line. For all other instructions, you have to give. Uh, minimum one line, one uh, character space should be there. Okay, you can see all the blue color. It is not starting at the beginning. Only black color. Okay, labels, variable labels, variable names. These are actually coming in black color. All keyword instructions uh, words are coming in blue color. All blue minimum one space should be there. After that, uh, next we have move r5 is equal to 6 so why we are using 6 in this line is there are seven datas okay you can see here 4 4 then b c x 1 1 3 3 a, a 8 8 9 and 1 these are there are nine, seven datas are there for seven datas uh, we have to compare six times so how many datas are there minus one comparison because this number is compared with this 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 and this so six comparison is required suppose 10 datas this are there then first number should be compared with remaining 9. So, how many data are there? Less than 9. One comparison should be done. So, here in the array, we are having 7 uh, 32 bit data. So, 6 comparison is required. So, R5 is actually loaded with number of comparison to be done. So, it is 6 for 7 numbers in array. Load R1 with address of array. After that, load R2, the content of address specified by R1. R1 is actually having array address. So, from the array, first data will be copied to R1. After that, there is a hash 4. Hash 4 indicates that after transfer, post index will take place. R1 will be incremented by 4. So, it is incremented by 4 means first array it is actually pointing to this. So, it consumes four, 4 bytes. 44 is 1 byte, another is 1 byte. This next 44 4 is 1 byte, next 44 4 is 1 byte. So, 32 bit means 8 4s are 32, so 4 bytes. So, next data is available after 4 bytes from the starting address. So, you have to increment by 4. So, next, that first number is actually loaded in R2. So, second number, okay, after increment of R1 by 4 times, now the new value of R1 is pointing to this uh, BCDF FFFF. That data will be copied to R4 and again R1 is in first incremented by 4. After the transfer, again R1 will be incremented. You can observe this one in single step execution. So, first number in R2, second number in R4. Any registers you can use. There is no rule that I have to use R1, R4, R4 only. You can use R3 also here. You can use uh, this R6 also. Any registers you can exchange, no problem. So, now compare R2 with R4, which is nothing but comparing this 444 with uh, BCDF, FFF. So, when you compare, always it will take r2 minus r4 first number we are giving r2 my r2 comma r4 means it will perform r2 difference r4 okay so first number minus second number so bhi means branch b stands for branch to loop when first number is higher suppose r2 content is higher than r4 that means r2 is higher value okay if r2 is higher for example here you can see here 444 bcdf First number is 44, 4, second number is BCF. So definitely first number is not higher. Okay. Only if it is higher, branch to loop one. Otherwise, what you have to do? Transfer that uh, R4 content to R2. So here, first case 444 4, 4 minus BCFF. So it is actually uh, not higher. 
first number is not higher so definitely this second number bcff no bcdf ff will be copied to r2 so always keep in mind that in r2 we should have higher number largest number so after that we have to subtract r2 r5 by 1 r5 is equal to r5 by r5 is equal to r5 minus 1 so we are decrementing the counter because number of comparison one comparison we did so remaining comparison is 6 minus 1 is 5 still we have to compare the remaining five five times we have to compare okay compare whether r5 is equal to 0 or not if it is not equal if it is not equal go back to loop loop is a label you can write here back also if you write back here here also you have to write back so any label you give you can write l1 here also you have to write l1 where you have to jump branch to loop if not equal not equal means z flag we have to check it is comparing r5 with 0 if r5 is also 0 z flag is going to set to 1 otherwise okay branch not equal means if z flag is not equal to 1 then branch to the loop that is branch means jump you have to jump to this loop so again already in the post increment previously it was incremented by 4 now it is pointing to 1 1 1 1 so that value you have to load it to r4 again in r2 always highest number will be there again compare the previous highest value with uh, uh, next data which is 1111 so bcdf ff compared with 1111 so definitely high first number is higher so branch if higher loop one that means no need to transfer that uh, r4 content to r2 now you have to skip this it will jump from this to here okay uh, again decrement r5 by one so now from six five it becomes four if it is not equal to zero again go back take the see after each one hash 4 is there it is we post incremented so this value will be after r1 incremented by 4 it is pointing to this 3333 so that value will be taken to r2 and it will compare with previous higher value and again if it is higher see always the bcf is higher no other higher value is coming so every time it will skip this move r2 comma r4 because we already got highest number here suppose one more uh, more than suppose ff 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 is there that time exchange will take place otherwise if first number is higher then no need to exchange or change the value so it will repeat five times once uh, r5 becomes zero it will stop and after that uh, you can see the highest number you can check the output in r2 also or you can if you want to transfer to um, ram memory location we have to declare one more area area uh, you can write the area as a um, uh, area name as uh, another data area data 2 or you can write result uh, and you can write the uh, year largest number instead of result here you can write a large number so whatever you want you can write so in the manual we are used a result here or if you want i will show you you can write large number Lar don't use largest only because already we had given a uh, uh, label area label as largest so don't give largest you can write, write large number okay that is left to you that is uh, whatever name you can want you can give don't give same name as uh, area name and uh, a variable name don't give same name okay and this also you can write uh, area check the output now to area result anything you can give no problem and don't give same name for uh, code area and data area if you use largest year don't give largest year okay so different uh, label should be there for different uh, code memory and data memory different label name should be there and uh, uh, area name should not match with the uh, variable name okay so now uh, in the array see it's a, it is still it is in uh, read only memory so array is declared here dcd define constant data some random data you can give 0x 4444 0x bcdf 0x 111 some datas that it will be datas you have to give okay so next step is you have to compile this rebuild if any error is that will show see it is not giving any error zero errors and warnings you can ignore after that you have to start debug so in the debug you have to click this debug button so it will go to the startup file in the startup file line number 131 we have load register r not with is equal to underscore underscore main in our main program sorry in our pre in our program we are used to export underscore underscore main so it will fetch the address of that uh, underscore underscore main of our program 
and it will just jump to unconditional jump to this or not so within two steps it should come to our main program so execute step over f10 button so it get the address of in r0 we have 0x1000001 so this is in the code memory our co our uh, uh, in the code memory our uh, underscore xx uh, sorry x uh, underscore underscore main that uh, address is 0x0000001 that is loaded to r0 and it will jump bx means branch unconditionally to that location so it will go to the our code this year see this is the underscore underscore mean it fetched and it is jumped here now control you can see here after that it will execute step by step move r5 with as 6 because why 6 there are seven data are this this comparison we have to do so six we have to load it with this after that load address uh, load register r1 address of array address of array you can see it is 120 so you can see in the memory there are four memory options are there memory one memory two. in memory two let me take uh, uh, address of this where we can see this uh, data as 444 and all so in the memory two the address is this and you can see this is address is what you can see here r1 is uh, 00 120 so here 120 you type you can see 444 bcdf 1113334 these are the seven datas okay and after that in the memory one window we have to use ram address that is 01 uh, 0x1 followed by 70 0170s so now you can say go to the control is here okay now you can after observe here hash 4 importance this hash 4 is uh, post increment okay so if you write this hash 4 within this here within a bracket if you write hash 4 before transfer only that is pre in, pre increment so it will add r1 with uh, this hash 4 and you will get the new effective address and that complicate will be copied here this, this is post increment so now here you can see first r1 address is how much 120 please see here r1 address is 120 which is pointing to this 444 okay next address is this okay next address is this if you want you can see the address of each one see 120 is this 124 is this 128 is this four four bytes you can see here if you drag you can see two two memory locations like that 120 this address this content 124 this content 128 this content so four four bytes 120, 121, 122, 123, next 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, like that. Okay. So now next uh, we'll go to uh, please observe your hash 4. So R1 is incremented by 4 actually. So first data R1 is actually uh, 120. That 120 content is uh, 4444 4, 4, 4. will be copied to R2 after that r1 will be incremented by 4 see 120 becomes 124 and r2 will be loaded with 4444 4, 4, 4. see here 4444 4, 4, 4. observe here post incremented takes place 120 now it becomes 124 you can observe here 124 next data is available okay next second number should be loaded to r4 that is bcdf bff is be loaded to r4 Again, also post increment will take place. This becomes 128. See here. This also incremented by 4. Second data is there. Now we have to compare. First number is where? See the register R2 and R4. We have to compare R2 and R4. Compare R2 and R4 and observe flux. These are the flags. And if it is uh, higher, you can check uh, carry flag. First number is higher, second number is smaller, so no carry flag will come. No carry flag will come. Flag will come. So if it is first number is higher, no need to exchange R4 content to R2. So just decrement R5. So this one is skipped. Sorry, first number uh, or negative. So negative flag is one here. We are doing R2 minus R4. No answer is negative not zero flag you have to check this so now you have to exchange this first number is higher no uh, in uh, r2 we have first number 
okay in r4 always in uh, r2 we are, we should have highest number in r2 what we have in r2 we have 444 in r4 b c d e f f since negative flag is 1 so we have to transfer the tier number to r2 see here from r4 it is copied to this because r2 is ir that is second number r2 is ir compare r2 comma r4 branch branch if ir number if first number is greater than bhi means if branch if ir if the r2 is greater than ir for else you have to exchange since here 4 4 is less than b c d e f now negative flag is set to 1 so it is not higher so if it is not higher only if it is higher it should branch now actually first number is smaller no so you have to execute this so r4 is copied to r4 next decrement r5 by 1 so 6 becomes 1 now it is not equal to 0 go back again next data will be copied to Next data is what one 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 is copied to here. Now compare R two with R four. R two is how much here? R two is a uh, B C D E F F. R four is one one one. So if the first number is higher, branch to this loop one. If the first number is higher. First number is higher means then definitely four B C D E F is higher than this. So it will not execute move R two comma R four. You can see the control from here. It will go to loop. From this, it will go to loop. It skipped this line. Again, decrement R five by one. Keep it is not equal to zero. Go back. B and E loop. Again, it will fetch the new data, which is three 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 two. R four. It will compare R two with R four. Again, B C D F is higher than three three three. So no need to do this. Okay. So like that. Once it becomes R five is equal to zero, we see here R five. When R five is equal to zero, so it will not go back to loop. It will come out of this uh, branch to loop if it is not equal to zero. So that is that flag you have to see here. Last time, when R five is equal to zero. Z flag is one. When Z flag is not equal, then only it will go to loop. Otherwise, it will come out of that uh, and it will go to the next instruction LDR R four. Next, you have to get this large number address to R four. What is the large number address to R four? You can see in R four it is one zero 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 zero. So that you can see in the memory. You type zero x one zero 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 seven zeros. So initially it is zero zero. So now the largest number B C D F should come here. So execute this. Say so it came. So this is how we can find the largest number in a array. So same thing you can convert this one to uh, smallest number in a array by converting uh, instead of I B H I. You have to do B L O, okay? B lower than, okay? So that I will show the next program. So same program. If you convert this one to B L O, it will be converted into that. Okay. 